Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I do have something very special for you. I am doing a Zootopia um, create a sim if they were human. I am doing Judy Hops and um, Nick Wilde. So I have to say that when Zootopia came out, I love Zootopia. Like, I could probably watch it a hundred times and not be bored of it. I honestly can't say that about all Disney movies. I love Disney movies, but I can't say that about all of them, unfortunately. I love most of them, but some of them, honestly, just don't, don't interest me. Like, I've never been a huge fan of Snow White. I've never, I mean, I love Up. But it is not one of my favorites, unfortunately. But Zootopia, I love. I love everything about it. I love all the little puns and everything in it. So Zootopia is definitely one of my favorites. And Judy was a lot of fun to make. I tried to make her face, you know, really cutesy, kind of bunny looking. And I think that she came out really perfectly. And I really wanted to use these pigtail hair because I think it looks like bunny ears and it's super cute and I think that she turned out really well so I didn't go too crazy with her but I definitely tried to um I was watching it while I was making um this video and I really wanted to use her like more casual wear because this outfit makes me think of um when she is home in bunny burrow right after everything that happened with the predators so that made me think of that and i think it looks really nice and i definitely wanted to put the hat on her as well so i think it looks super cute and super laid back and i definitely um did another cute little outfit for her that i think that she would is something that she would definitely wear and i absolutely love it and of course making her a cop i mean how could judy be anything but a cop but hopefully having two because i did make nick a cop too hopefully having two cops in the household won't mess anything up because i've never actually done like the um like the 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 detective the doctor and the scientist i've never really done it with two of them in the house so if I go to work with one of them, hopefully it won't me really mess anything up. I don't know. I've never tried it, but I'm definitely going to try it. I've like had, um, like somebody is a doctor and then somebody has a cop in the house. And of course that's not going to mess anything up, but it shouldn't mess anything up. But I don't, I don't even know. But right now I'm just, I'm rambling. But I tried to keep everything with Judy really laid back. Because she is a very laid-back kind of bunny. So I just love everything about her. I think she looks so cute. And she kind of looks like a little bunny. And it's adorable. And I did um, keep her kind of with um, grays. Just because that's, you know, the her fur color. But I did also keep, try to keep her a little bit colorful just because she does like to wear colorful clothes. So I didn't keep her completely in grays. I did um, give her a little bit of color. But I think she looks absolutely adorable. And I am very proud of the way that she looks. And I definitely tried to keep her um, in more modest looking clothing. I can't see her really being the kind to um, show off her midriff, so I definitely did um, try to keep her covered. Some of um, some of the characters I really do see being a little bit more conservative, but some of them, like definitely um, Pocahontas wouldn't have a problem with it. I don't think Ariel would have a problem with it, and Jasmine... But some characters, like Judy right here, and definitely Snow White, maybe Cinderella, I don't know, I could, maybe I could see Cinderella, you know, showing off her assets. I don't know, I haven't even made Cinderella yet, so I haven't quite figured her out yet, but definitely Snow White um, would definitely cover up, and I think I had, yeah, definitely Rapunzel would cover up too, but... 
I'm trying to um, just keep them as close to the character as I possibly can. All right. And I was just trying to figure out exactly what I was going to do with um, Judy's aspiration. But I think that because she really wanted to go to Zootopia so bad, that City Native worked perfectly for her. And her traits were a little difficult, too. I wasn't quite sure exactly what I was going to do for her. <coughs> Nick, Nick's was a little difficult, too. Because I didn't want him to be, like, a super snob or anything. But I wasn't sure exactly what I was going to do with him. Um, so his was definitely a little difficult, too. Um, but I definitely wanted to keep him with the orange hair. And I was trying to see if there was a fox hat. But there wasn't. I was thinking about giving them a fox pet. I still might give them a fox pet. But I put them in an apartment. So that's a little bit more difficult to have a dog. Like I've tried um, my Sims have a dog in an apartment before. And that was just... It was just a pain. Just because... I don't think they went outside like they were supposed to. I can't remember. I might try to put a fox in the household and just see what happens. But from what I remember, it didn't really work. So right now, I'm just trying to get Nick's outfit all set up. Um, I did try to keep the green shirt with the tie that he has in the movie it didn't really work out really well. I tried so hard to find like a green colored shirt with a tie. And I don't think any of the shirts with ties are untucked. I may have to see if I can find some CC for it. But the shirt that I found, I like it. And I think it looks nice. And then I definitely did get a more laid back outfit for Nick because I mean Nick is so laid back he's not really the kind of guy to like dress up so I definitely wanted to keep him laid back um but I'm really happy with Nick I look I think he looks really good um I definitely think he looks real laid back so I am extremely happy with both Nick and Judy I absolutely love them and I hope that you love them too. Now I'm just doing the finishing touches on Nick. Um, I did forget that when I saw the glasses on this one, I did completely forget that, you know, I didn't put the glasses on Nick. So I did go back and I definitely looked at the glasses I was trying to find the aviator glasses that Nick has um, in the movie. So I definitely did um, put them on them. And I definitely put them on the one with the suit. And fun little fact I did read while I was looking up Nick. That the reason why he wears glasses in the movie is because foxes are nocturnal animals. And they can't go out in direct sunlight. So that's why Nick has the um, aviator glasses in the movie, which I thought was really cool. I love the little details that Pixar does in the movies. It amazes me how much detail and how much thought process they put into the movies. That makes me so happy and it makes me love the movies even more because it shows that they really pay attention to what they do. And I absolutely love it. Finding treats for Nick was so so difficult but I finally found some traits that I like but right now we are definitely going to do a apartment remodel I haven't done this before um I did want to keep them in an apartment just because um Judy lives in an apartment in Zootopia so I did want to keep her in an apartment and I really liked this apartment I wanted an apartment with a balcony so that she could grow some carrots because you know she came from money burrows where they where her parents are carrot farmers so I definitely wanted to keep that um in it she's not like going to be a gardener she's definitely going to still be a police officer but I did want her to grow some carrots and maybe grow a couple other fruits and vegetables um so I definitely did um want to one with the balcony and I didn't like the huge open bedroom 
that this had, so I definitely built two bedrooms. I built two bedrooms because I'm not quite sure exactly um, what I'm going to do with Nick and Judy right now. I know they are um, best friends right now. I had thought about making them lovers because uh, even though one's a fox and one's a rabbit, I don't care. I completely shipped them. I shipped them from the moment that I watched Zootopia. I don't care. I don't care that they are a fox and a rabbit. I think they're great together. But then as I was reading more, you know, because I tried to um, research the character a little bit before I start doing the creative sims and the builds just to make sure that I understand them correctly because I want to make sure that I do them justice. So I do research the characters a little bit. And the producers and everything for Zootopia definitely wanted them to have a platonic relationship. Like, at the very end, when he goes, you know you love me, and she goes, do I? Yes, I do. That was supposed to be a platonic, you love me. Because I've done that to my male friends. I'm like, I love you. Even though, you know, it's completely platonic. I wouldn't do, you know, I wouldn't actually love them but I love them as a friend so I thought that at least for right now um they're gonna have their own separate bedrooms and they are going to be best friends you know partners and they're gonna have a platonic love although that could change later on I haven't decided yet because they are definitely going to be um in my let's play they aren't going to be, like, hu a huge part in it, but you're definitely going to see them probably walking around. But I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do with them yet. I'm definitely going to be working them in their um, police careers just because I love it. And I had to put the sloth picture in the house just because as a reference to Flash because I love Flash. He is one of my favorite characters in that movie. I about died the first time I saw it with the little, in the little DMV. I about died. I loved it. <laughs> I thought it was so funny how slow the sloths um, move. And then at the very end with Flash in the car, I thought that was just hilarious. And I love the movie. But I definitely tried to keep this um, definitely more in Nick and Judy's tastes. So I definitely um, wanted to work on this a little bit. I will be completely honest. I always forget about the bathroom. I completely forgot to even look at the bathroom. I can't believe I did that. But I will definitely go back. I might just leave it the way it is. But I'll have to go back and look at it. I was so, so focused on this kitchen. Like I spent so much time on this kitchen and in the living area too as you will see here in a little bit but I just spent so much time in this kitchen that I did completely forget about the bathroom I can't believe I did that but I did so I'm gonna have to go back and see if I even like the bathroom I may just have to go ahead and remodel it and then, as you see, I'm messing with the counters. I really wanted to recreate that round counter that was in there before I deleted it. But I couldn't figure out how they did that. I'm going to have to watch some videos and figure out how to do it because I tried so hard. As you see, I tried and tried and tried and I could not get the counters to work correctly. So I'm just going to have to watch some videos and figure it out. But eventually, I just said, screw it. And I just did the counters the way I normally do because I got really sick and tired of messing with it. <laughs> But I really like how the kitchen turned out. It does look really nice and it looks like something that Judy and Nick, I think, would like. So I definitely love it. And as you see, I finally did get tired of it and I just quit on it. But I still really like the kitchen. I think it looks nice. 
And the living area was something that was really fun for me. It's something that I hadn't done before, and you will definitely see it in a little bit. And I did want um, to keep a little bit modern to it, but still not too modern. I do plan on doing some modern homes. Um, modern is definitely not something I am used to doing. I'm definitely used more used to doing um, more rustic or more family type homes. I've never really done a modern home, but I have some ideas in my head of what I'm going to do. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. But I really did enjoy doing this um, apartment remodel. I haven't actually really done that before. I normally just um, keep the apartments a lot of the time the way they are. But this was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun working with this one. And I really loved how much glass and how much windows were in the house and I or in the apartment. And I think it looked really good. And it was one of the only apartments I could find with the balcony because I definitely wanted the balcony for um for Judy because I really don't see I don't think Nick would go and you know garden and stuff but I definitely wanted that for her just you know because I think she would you know garden a little bit just because you know it's something that her mother and father do and it might be something that um Helps her stay, you know, a little closer to her parents. So I definitely think that she would do that. Alright, and right now I'm starting on the little living area. I definitely wanted it to, um, I definitely wanted to put it in the open space right here just because there is so much room. But I couldn't figure out exactly what I was going to do. Um, there were so many choices and unfortunately a lot of the furniture doesn't match which is really upsetting because like if I want to put a love seat and a couch and a chair there it's kind of difficult to find ones that match even if they're from the same pack like there were a couple of um couches and chairs that I really wanted to use but they didn't match so that was a little a little disheartening but I did finally um, decide I wanted to um, put a little color in the house. So I did, um, I think I stayed with this green. And it looks really nice. No, I didn't stay with the green. I think I did. I did a different color. But I still really like the way that it looks. And I've never really noticed um, that chair on the left. I've never really noticed it before. But I think it looks really nice, and I absolutely love it. I think it looks really cool. It looks like something that I could see in um, Judy and Nick's house, and I think it looks so nice. And I definitely wanted a TV in there, but I didn't really like the way that that looked, so I decided I was going to try something new. I was going to um, put a wall in the middle that kind of helps divide and then put a TV on there. I'd never really done that before. Um, I normally put the TV on in, you know, a wall on the side of the house. Or I'll put it on the TV stand. But I think it looks nice. Um, I think it kind of divides the front door and the living area. So I think it looks really nice. And then I did decide to use this um, this white and black colors, which I absolutely loved. I thought it looked so nice and something that Judy and Nick would definitely love. And then you d you know you got to have that clutter. I love the clutter, so you got to make the house look lived in. I can't have a sim house that looks too neat and tidy. That just won't work. And then, of course, because they're cops, you know, you got to have a little study area, which I like it right there. Um, because even though it is over by the living area, it's still kind of um, in its own little area because of that little wall with the TV on it. So I really love that study area right there. I think it looks really nice. 
and it's nice and quiet. Definitely a place where they can work, but if somebody is watching TV, they can still talk if they want to. And then I definitely used um, this as a little skill building area and a little place to put um, the washer and the dryer because I do absolutely love laundry day. So I definitely want to make sure that I have the washer and the dryer and of course all the little clutter items. And I love the little um, furniture that came with laundry day. Um, I love all all of the furniture, especially this one right here. I love all the little slots that you can put on it and it's perfect to go over the washer and dryer because of the little hangers that are hanging from it. But it's just, it's just a cute little, you know, washing room and I love it. And I love all the natural light that comes into this house because it has those big, beautiful windows. That was one thing that drew me to this house is all those big beautiful windows that they have I absolutely love it it brings a lot of natural light into the house and I think it looks so so nice sometimes finding stuff to fit in those little slots can be so difficult like as you see I'm struggling struggling to find something that fits there like, it's either too big or it just does not fit right. Um, but I absolutely love the way that this looks. And they can definitely chill and they can look out at um, Samashuno. And, you know, if they want to have a party, they have a little area right here where they can party and just have a lot of fun. Because I could see Nick and Judy having friends over. And I definitely wanted this area right here just to be like a quiet little, you know, if they just want to look out into the city, you know, they can just chill. And I really, I really like it. it I could definitely see myself hanging out in a place like this. It looks really nice, really quiet, definitely really peaceful. Alright, so it's just about done, and I really hope that you enjoyed my little apartment rebuild. Or not really rebuild, but I can't even think of the word. Oh my goodness. Oh, anyway, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I really hope that you um, join me in the next video. Definitely hit the like button below if you enjoyed it. And definitely subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Thank you so much. And I hope that you have a great rest of your day. Bye.